Hey, I want to take a little time today to show everyone my new grips here. I bought these from Altamont and it's not hard to figure out what guns they're for since they say Colt right on them there. These are for my Colt Cobra and my new Colt King Cobra. And I want to do a little video today showing people what they look like on the guns. Now, before I go any further with this video, I know a lot of people are going to say, why are you doing a stupid, useless, meaningless video about gun grips while everything's going on with the NRA and all the other drama, etc.? Well, you know, I've been preaching that gospel for several years before anyone else ever jumped on the bandwagon. I'm glad other people have taken the banner up now. Uh, I sacrificed probably half of my subs over the years because of taking that stand. But now that other people are also taking the stand, I think I can occasionally take a break and do a stupid little video about gun grips, things that I actually enjoy. So that's why I'm doing a video about gun grips while, you know, some people think the gun community is burning right now. It isn't. I like to look at everything that's going on right now as positive, but I'll talk more about that later. First, I just wanted to show you some pretty grips. Now, the guns I'm going to put these on, like I said, are my Cobra and my King Cobra. So let's go ahead and get the Cobra first here and put one of these grips on it. But before I do that, I want to show everyone here the name of the company, Altamont Grips. You know, it's got their name there so you can look them up. I think I paid $62 a piece for these. So not the cheapest grips, but as you can see, they're really nice grips. So let's see them on the guns now. Now, first, I am going to have to unload my Cobra here because, like I say, I do use this gun. It's used as a backup gun in the house. So take those out of there. And for those of you that are wondering what ammunition I use, this is Corbon DPX Solid Copper Hollow Points in 38 Special plus P, I do believe. So that's what I actually use in the gun. Now, the grips that are on it here are a set of much larger grips that I actually cut down a long time ago to have this profile. And I'll try to link it uh, up in the upper corner here to the video where I actually cut these grips down. Uh, if I can find the old video, I'll link it up there. But I'm going to take these off and put it on one of my older Colts, and then I will get the new grips on this one. This brass screw has seen better days. Why well, I hate brass screws. They uh, tear up so easily. I'll have to reshape this one if I'm going to use it again. Now I'm going to switch them over to my little Colt uh, double action only detective special here. And it'll make the gun look a lot better, I think. Because right now it's just got those ugly Packmire grips on it. To never have like those things. Okay, I've got the uh, old grips that I fashioned here on my detective special. The double action only detective special. So let's go put the new grips on the new gun. Having a little trouble deciding which color I want to put on which gun, the silver wood or the walnut. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the silver wood on the Cobra and see how that looks. One thing I want to once again remind people about when they're putting this type of grip on is don't lose these little pins right here. These little pins have to be in here. There and there usually on this type of grip. They're what makes the grip stable. I've seen so many people install these after I say these are good grips to buy and they're like, they're so wobbly. I'm like, well, did you check your pins? And a lot of times they've lost the pins because they just fall out when you take the grips apart and you don't pay attention, you won't even see them. So make sure those are in there before you install them. The only other thing you're going to have to make sure to align other than these two pins is the little pin that goes through the actual grip right here. This will line up with a hole on the grip right here. So you have to make sure those line up and those go together too. Now, if you've ever removed these pins before, you know you have to bang on them pretty hard. So when you did that, you probably flattened out one side of it that you're banging on, maybe made it a little wider, a little mushroomed at the top. So you might have to take a file, just go around it and take off that little ridge before they'll seat properly. Now that I got them on there, I'll just put the screw in carefully as not to strip it using a proper sized screwdriver. And if you don't have a proper sized screwdriver when you're doing these, uh, just grind one down to where it is the proper size. Get it snug, but not too snug. All right, they're on, and I will have to say these are a big improvement to the gun. I love these way better than the plastic grips that come on it. I even like them better than the older wooden grips I have, the more flat ones, because I like the pattern here for a little bit extra grip, and I like the logo being on here. So this looks a lot better in my opinion. Really like these. The fit on these is just perfect all the way around. I'm very happy with these. These are some very well-made wooden grips. 
In the end, I'm really glad I bought these. They're well worth the money. Not only do they make the gun look a whole lot better, but they make it feel a whole lot better in my hand, as some people love to say. I love the way they have that extra little notch there on the bottom that allows you to get not only the two fingers you can usually get on a snubby, but it allows you to get that other finger right there on the bottom and get you a little extra stability. So these not only make the gun, like I said, look better, they make it handle better also. So very glad I bought them. Now you might be asking yourself why I'm not showing you the grips on the King Cobra. Well, I don't have the King Cobra here right now. It is actually over at Patriot Gun Polishing getting all purdied up. Once it's purdied up, I'll get it back and I'll show you what it looks like with its new grips on it too. But for now, that's my silly little grip video. Thank you. 